Hey everybody, Alex from SeemsGoodMagic.com here, and we're in an 8-4. Shadows over in a straw draft. Okay, not considering the rare first pick. I think it's really between Breakneck Rider or Indulgent Aristocrat. There is Rabid Bite in here too, which is premium removal, but I like these two cards more. I think I'd probably prefer the Werewolf deck to the Vampire deck. I don't know why exactly. Aristocrat and Breakneck Rider are both probably equally powerful in their archetypes, but Breakneck Rider can be played outside of the Werewolf archetype, whereas Aristocrat pretty much, I guess it doesn't need to be played in Vampires, but that's where it gets really powerful. I'm going to take the Breakneck Rider. I just really like this card. Considering it ends games on its own, that's not really what Aristocrat does so easily, so seems like a Breakneck Rider to me. Okay, well, what do we got for follow-up picks? Solitary Hunter is pretty solid follow-up. We also have Byway Career, which I like. But Solitary Hunter moves us a little bit deeper in on the Werewolf strategy, which I like. I'm pretty, pretty much okay with following it up with that. Seems like a fine follow-up pick to me. I like Solitary Hunter. Okay, follow-up pick now. Well, we can take Quilled Wolf. Moves deeper in on the Wolf-Werewolf strategy. You get powerful Wolf value cards, which we can hunt for. There's Ongoing Investigation in here, which is good. Malevolent Whispers, Dual Shot, Thunder Thornhide Wolves, which I like less than Quill Hide, or Quilled. What's a Quill Hide? All right, Quilled Wolf. Look at that curve. Curving right out. Ooh, oh, what a nice pickup for us. Yeah, we're, we're slamming, happily slamming this Neglected Heirloom. Fantastic card. We have the perfect deck for it, so let's take it. All right, probably just take Reduce to Ashes here. We also have Rush of Adrenaline, but I've kind of renewed my love for Reduce to Ashes. Just, it's a good card. Deals with important cards in this format, too. It really just... Stops a lot of things in their track, uh, in their tracks rather, and it also it deals with like near Heath Chaplin, Dauntless Cathar. It makes it so the creature doesn't go to their graveyard, so it doesn't you know help their delirium. It's just it's really good. It's kind of like one of the main red removal spells. I mean, granted, there's Game Trail, which I guess we could use too, but reduce to ashes, baby, all day. Okay, well, Uncaged Fury is a pretty strong card. And particularly good alongside Breakneck Rider, so sounds like the pick for us. Okay, so I guess we can take Rush here. It's a playable combat trick. We do want to cut red and green as best we can. All right. I mean, Pyre Hound with Uncaged Fury, Reduced to Ashes, Rush of Adrenaline, Neglected Heirloom, I guess is a thing. Kessig Dire Swine. Mm. Guess we'll take the Pyre Hound. It's, it's good to see late green cards, but none of those green cards were insane. But we're also pretty late into this pack, so it's not really saying that much. Too bad Hound's not a wolf, right? Come on, they're in the same, like, family. All right, reduced ashes number two, taking it, playing it. Hmm, I guess we'll take a foul orchard in case there's something worth splashing. Dual shot versus hulking devil. Well, dual shot could, well, it can be useful, yeah, certain matchups. Haunted cloak, I guess. Probably would prefer to not play it, but I'm certainly not playing Harness the Storm, right? Runaway Carriage, I guess. We're going to let someone take that Chaplain's Blessing, because we don't want it. Okay, well, not the worst start, not the best start. We know what we want to do. Green Red Werewolves, but we're going to need some help. 
Odrick? Jeez. Well, there's also Convicted Killer. Might be able to wheel that. I guess we can take Uvenwald Mysteries. It's going to be good if we get this Neglected Heirloom. Flipped, I mean, but... We're going to hope to wheel the Convicted Killer. We'll see if that pans out. Let's see if Uvenwald Mysteries can be good for us. For once, right? Wolf of Devil's Breach. Well, this is kind of a perfect card for the deck. There is Hinterland Logger in here as well, but this is also a wolf. To be honest, I really do want this logger, but I'm going to take the Mythic because it's very efficient. It ends games on its own. It's also a wolf, so it still works with the deck. Well, uh, I guess technically Thraben Gargoyle works with Neglected Heirloom. It does look like our deck needs a little bit of early game help. There's nothing else in here I care about. So I guess we'll take it. Not the best aggressive wolf werewolf deck card, but we're going to have to accept it for now. Probably don't want to play this. Likely don't want to play this. Probably don't even want to play the Pyre Hound. Just looking at our possible sideboard cards. I guess Dual Shot likely is a sideboard card too. Everything else seems main deckable. Dual Shot is technically main deckable. It's just more so for the uh, blue red spells deck. Ah, Forge Master and Bandit. I think I actually like Forge Master more. It's cheaper, which is just going to be much more busted with Neglected Heirloom. And uh, Guy Reach Bandit's fine. But I actually think Forge Master's better. I'd rather pay one less mana. They're both good. They're both cards I'd be happy to have. But I'm going to take the two drop. Forge Master just attacks for days. Another wolf? This is a nice little gift. All right. We'll take it. We need some of the, the wolf cards now. Like Ulrich's Kindred. We want Howl Pack Resurgence. We want the Weirdo Green Moonlight Hunt, I think it's called. We've got all of these wolf cards and none of the wolf synergy cards. Where are they? All right. Convicted Killer is getting nabbed here. I underrated Killer. It's actually a pretty, pretty much fine card, in my opinion. I don't have any issues with it anymore. Seems bad because it's 3 mana 2-2, two, two, but it turns into a 4-4 four, four pretty often. Alright, Convicted Killer number 2. Let's keep these werewolves coming. Village Messenger. This is actually a deck that wants to play it. I like Dance with Devils, too. Actually, Dance with Devils is pretty nice in this deck because you can flip your guys and still play it on your opponent's turn, but Village Messenger with Neglected Heirloom? Are you kidding me? All right. All the killers. Gibbering Fiend, sure. Cutting Red. Also cutting the Blue Red Spells deck win con, so, or at least one of them. Uh, Strength of Arms is the most annoying of those. We're going to let someone play Rotten Heart Ghoul. We'll take the Magnifying Glass that we're not going to play. Well, all right. I guess we have enough werewolves, right? Do we even have sorceries? No? All right. Well, no, we do. Reduced Ashes. Not that we care about that, but whatever. So we're going to have a deck, which is good news. We have plenty of werewolves. With Neglected Heirloom, which is good news. We have three green cards. So green is definitely getting cut. But I think the good news is we're deep into red. So who knows? Maybe we'll make a mono red deck. That would be that would be a first. Alright. So we have the arsonist. Olivia. Mad Profit, which we really can't profit from in this deck. 
Uh, Geist Blast, which is removal, which we are short on, right? Well, I guess we have the two reduced to ashes, a couple combat tricks. Might just want the arsonist. It's a powerful game ender. Still holding out hope we find some wolf removal, right? Well, Graf Mole with nothing that investigates. Harvest Hand, which transforms but does not work with Heirloom, as it turns out. Could take the Ember Eye Wolf, lower the curve a bit. All right, take another wolf. Really hoping this pack pays it. Here we go. Oh, man. Of course they have to be in the same pack. And Hinterland Logger and Halfpack Wolf. So you just give me everything I want in one pack, is what you're saying. Uh, I think every single creature in our deck is a wolf or a werewolf at this point, right? Okay, that's a bit of an exaggeration, but pretty close. <laughs> I think there's, like, two non-wolves. Like, Halfpack Resurgence is pretty much a always watching in our deck, is it not? A flash always watching. That gives trample instead of... Yeah, we got to take it over Moonlight Hunt. The good news is, if no one else is playing werewolves... This pack is ridiculous, by the way. Neary Chaplin in here, too. The good news is, if no one is werewolves, which is a good chance, Moonlight Hunt's going to be a wheel. Because this pack is fairly deep, too. So, let's take this Howl Pack Resurgence. Hunter number two. We'll take it. I don't think we're going to get Delirium, so Gibbering Fiend is kind of on the fence. Ooh, Moonlight Hunt. There it is. Was looking for it and got it. Beautiful. Good looking deck now. Very consistent. First cut is uh, maybe Gibbering Fiend. Even Gargoyle is still probably okay. I actually like that you can pay the transform. You can leave up six mana, flip your guys, and still transform. You know, it's a good mana sink in a primarily werewolf deck. Wolf and werewolf deck. I don't know what I'm cutting at this point. I guess it's Gibbering Fiend. Is that our only non-wolf uh, and werewolf besides Draven Gargoyle? It's pretty insane, actually. I like Rush of Adrenaline. In this deck, especially with all the high power dudes. So I kind of want to keep that in. Howl Pack Wolf. I think we're taking it. Gibbering Fiend out. Howl Pack Wolf in. It's basically just a 3-3. Three, 3-mana three, three 3-3 three, three in our deck, which is very good. This deck is very good. How good is Uvenwald Mysteries? It's probably just good enough where I want to leave it in. Inner Struggle. Well, we're Removal Light. Embry Wolf is also a card. We already have one, though. And Inner Struggle is an actual card we would play. We'll figure out cuts later, right? Well, there's another Rush of Adrenaline, but I'm not sure if we're playing it. I kind of want to just cut the Biting Rain. It does kill almost all of our things. So, we'll hate it. Insolent. You're so insolent, but we're not going to play you. Um, Most annoying cor uh, card here. Maybe the Explorer. Accomplice can be good. Probably just want to hate something cheap, though. Maybe the Accomplice. I mean, Neonate is a huge enabler for vamps. If people are playing that, so I'll hate it. Jeez, I don't need any of these. I guess Tormenting Voice. Are we going to get that Moonlight Hunt back? Likely not. All right. All right, looks like we did not. Take a second dual shot, just in case. Third reduced ashes. Just no love for a legitimately good removal spell. In my mind. Um, so we have some cuts to make. Not a lot, though. I 
Okay, so we have two cuts to make. I think we can get away with 17 lands. Let's cut or reduce the ashes, so we'll keep it at four or five drops. Separate creatures from non-creatures, please. Okay, so we have all of these things. I could cut the gargoyle. We do have instant and sorcery. The chances of getting delirium are pretty much non-existent, but we only got two wolf and werewolf cards, right? The Resurgence and the Moonlight Hunt. It's probably still fine. I don't know what I cut here. I don't want to cut the rush. I like rush of adrenaline. I just feel like everything else we're doing in non-creature spells is better. Our guys die, we get more dudes. We get to draw. Uh, it's a mana sink for clues. It's equipment for heirloom. Works with breakneck rider. I don't want to cut Inner Struggle or Reduce to Ashes or Moonlight Hunt. Uncaged Fury is better than Rush, I think. And Resurgence is certainly one of the best non-creature spells in our deck. It's right up there with Heirloom, considering we're running, like, all wolves. One non-wolf creature, so that's pretty insane. And the non-wolf we're running, I still like. Like I said, it can transform Heirloom, and it's a win con that evades. Gargoyle actually looks fine here, and I guess it's a way to turn on Delirium, although still not super likely to happen. All right, I think we're cutting the Rush. I like Rush, like I said, but yeah, Neil Pert, great drummer. Okay, let's let's get this all. Uh... All right, double red, three triple red. Okay, nice. Let's, let's see what this says. 12 and 5? No, I don't think so. This is probably a 10 7, though. Six green spells total. We have quite a few double red. All right. We're going to go 10 7. I like the deck. Looks good. Uh, I want to rate it fairly high, too. It seems like a high B. Like a. We've got a game plan. It looks good. Werewolf decks are typically pretty good. We're definitely getting cut in green, but the green cards we got are all very useful for what we're trying to do. Moonlight Hunt, Resurgence, Solitary Hunters. Hopefully, Uvenwald Mysteries does something for us here. Um, I want to rate this deck high. I'm going to give it an 89%. That's, that's a B+. Plus. That is very close to an A. I think if the curve were just slightly better, it would be right in that A territory, but as is, still very good. Looks like an enjoyable deck, so we're going to run it like this, and we'll see you round one.